So apparently Thunder's taking a nap right next to the air conditioning vent and the <laughs> industrial forge. Fair enough. Anyway, guys, welcome to the video. My name is, of course, Turbo, and today I'm going to hopefully try and solo the Ice Titan, which is one of the kind of mini-bosses, I guess you would describe them as. I'm um, just going to make sure this is what I'm going with. I've got spare guns, plenty of element to put in the mech, because we're going to be using one of the mechs today. Hopefully using one of them with a the siege cannon, as it were, to try and shell the weak points of the Titan. Because the Titans are corrupted slightly, like a lot of the other dinos, but they have like a, a cancerous tumour of corruption that you can try and shoot off. It's very tricky, definitely a lot easier with two people, but we're going to try and do it with just one people. That's me. I, I am one people, one person. And uh, has the gacha dropped anything good? No, just basic crystals by the looks of things. Oops. It's always worth keeping an eye on what they do drop because occasionally they have been dropping ascended level crystals and for example if I just pop into here real quick uh, weapons that's the one I want in here here's a normal drop from a supply drop and there's something a gacha drops that is insane like nearly 600% fabricated pistol and uh, they've also been dropping some pretty decent ascended long neck rifles as well so yeah Definitely, definitely, definitely worth getting a gacha. I can see them take, uh, taking them out temporarily or toning them down, but as you can see, pain in the ass to tame. There's one Titan, but we're going to see if we're able to do another right now. If not, I will probably kill that one just so we could do a proper tame. As you can see, I kind of know what I'm doing, more or less. So we're going to do it, like I say, with just a mech. It's not worth taking any dinos because it's going to be super tricky. Uh, I will have to go back up and get the um, tribute though, so we'll do that first. But yes, this mech here. I've made him some extra thingamajiggies. He's going to have plenty of thingamajiggies. Just going to split some of this down. Pop that in there so he's got some. I've got some. I think I'm fairly well prepared. It is quite tricky. And I'm going to show you some clips of when I was doing this guy over here. Some clips of just how... I mean, most of you guys that watch these kind of videos will know Ack pretty well. And that hitboxes are a goddamn nightmare. And pretty much always will be. Well, if you can imagine a creature as big as that. And how awful the hitbox is probably going to be. Imagine trying to shoot something. That's about the size of that spike on the back there. Maybe a bit shorter. And it's like under his armpit. Or on his shoulder. Or on his stomach. Yeah, it is really goddamn hard. You can shoot the thing straight square in the middle and still miss, or somehow also hit the dino, or somehow also miss entirely. So, yes, Ark doesn't make it easy or stress-free when it comes to taming these titans. The Ice Titan is the worst. All the other ones seem to be pretty much okay. Sometimes the Desert Titan can be a bit awkward and do the same thing where you just miss a blatantly clear shot. But the Forest Titan is completely fine. Ice Titan, definitely the worst. But anyway, at least in solo. So I'm gonna... Go back in and get the tribute. Is that going to close? Yes. And uh, we all get underway. All right. We are nearly there. Having fought our way through the ice cave, which is not fun. You can get some really high level dinos in there. If you're after any dire wolves, they'll spawn at like whatever your um, server max is and then some. And that's why we've got some like 550 level Direwolves, even though the maximum is actually uh, supposed to be 180 on the server. So, I think we've got everything we need here. Yes, that's everything. So you need one artifact of the void. Corrupted heart of the hundreds. A spider sail of tens. And a therizino claws of tens as well. So that's all that done. Let us begin. The arena is currently occupied. Oh, really? Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. I thought we'd killed everything. That's level 300. I'm not ready for this. Goddamn polar bears. Which is just a dire bear with a little bit of a skin on it. Why did I take fallen damage then when I'm wearing... Uh... Wait, where have my shoes gone? Oh, it broke those the moment it attacked me. All oh, right, I see. Yeah, never mind. Well, that's awkward. So now I've got to go all the way back to base to fix them. 
<sighs> well, at least whoever's doing that can finish that and... I can, fly, I can still fly, right? Yeah, that's the suit, not the shoes. Right, well, I'm gonna have to fly all the way back and fix my bloody shoes. Man, you'd think for the amount of ammo that they have, that would have lasted a little bit longer than that. It's like everything's incredibly damaged. Like, even the chest piece and the hands. Everything just apparently got absolutely hammered. That won't even repair, but let's remove the skin anyway and then put it on that pair because those are better. We'll repair that anyway just in case someone wants to use it. I'm gonna stick with my original helmet though as I don't like the effect that the other one has. Uh, where's it gone? There it is. We'll get that repaired. Ooh, I forgot we had an ascended one though, so we could craft that instead actually. Put that back and then take the ascended one. Hell yeah! And then... Need to fix my hands. I've lost my hands. There's my hands. Where's the broken ones? There's the broken ones. Sometimes you can hit E to repair stuff, and then sometimes you can't. So that's the thing. Right, okay. We're all ready to go again. Again. <laughs> but anywho. It won't take me too long to fly back. Whee! Oops. <laughs> Sorry! Alright, there's been a server restart. I'm the only person on the server. Let's do it! The arena is currently occupied. Well, I'm the only person on. And I was the first person on. Don't know if anyone else is already on. Literally, the server's just come back up and I've run forwards. I don't think there's somebody still in there because uh, it would have it would have been finished on the restart, surely. Hmm. Okay then. Okay, quick sit rep. It turns out that yes indeed, there can only be one tamed titan and once one is tamed, nobody can have one and no one can do the boss battle arena. Which, I don't know, it seems weird to me. It means if you want to do the bosses and the alpha tribe has all the bosses tamed and keeps them tamed for the maximum time of four days and you simply can't do any of the boss arenas for four days, which strikes me as odd, but I guess if that's how it's gonna be, it's just... Something else I could chalk up to another weird archism, but yeah. So I guess we have to go back to base and kill the titan, or unclaim it. I gotta do something to make a goddamn video. So, back at base on my ice titan. Um, apparently it's got a level up. But yeah, when I go on the level up, I've got 11 points and nothing to put them into. Which I guess makes sense, they're already quite an OP thing, why would you let people put levels into them? But if that's the case, why have goddamn levels at all? If I can't do anything with it? Just turn it off, that means I'm gonna have to have Ice Titan has a level up constantly at the top of my screen when you can't do anything about it. I just don't, I just, there's so many basic issues with this DLC that it just beggars belief. Like I just don't understand how they can be so inept and lazy. They make something so cool and then ruin it with pretty much basic issues. And stop. Hey look, I've got more points that I can't spend. Yay! Alright, well, I killed the Titan, so now there's nobody on the server still. And oh for fuck's sake. Really? I think we might be able to get away with just restarting the server while no one's on it, to be honest. Okay, are we good? I don't wanna look. <laughs> Alright, let's pop all this back in again. Yes! We're off. Oh god, what's happened to the mech? That old bug. That does... I hope that isn't going to persist into the battle, because that will do my head in. This bug does happen from time to time, even when you haven't done a world boss. You just end up running around and all of a sudden everything goes pixelated like this. It's a strange bug. But hopefully we're going to actually get to do the goddamn battle. Oh. Okay, we're here. I'm gonna get in the mech straight away. Here comes the boss. He's forming up. I'm gonna move well away. As the first thing he'll do, hopefully, is get stuck on some of the dinos. 
Oh, he's level 1500 as well. Rather than a thousand. This could be interesting. This could be really tricky. It's already really tricky. At level a thousand, so I'm worried about 1500. This is probably because we had the other one. So what we need to do is hope that he starts fighting a diner. Press C and then shoot. Oh god. And then shoot our long range thing right, right in the center of that little tumor on the back of his foot. Out of the way, Rhino! Oh god. Go, 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 go! That luckily all missed. This is a lot easier with two people, but it is... Uh oh, he's looking at me. It is possible solo, but it's goddamn hard. Okay, he's on a dyno. I, I can't activate... I can't activate the, uh, the thing. Hello? Game? Game, I have a big turret on the back of my head. Why can't I use it? Oh my god. It's always something, isn't it? There's always got to be a problem with Ark. It wouldn't be Ark if there wasn't some glaring bug that stops you doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right, yes, we have rockets. Yes, we have ammo. Yes, we have the rocket launcher. Yes, we have element. But no, we do not have the ability. We don't have the ability to fire. A little bit awkward. It's always something, isn't it? I'm, I'm not going to end up with a video at this rate because I'm just going to be so pissed off that it's already taken 2.5 hours to do the other one because of the horrific hitboxes and the nightmare that is glitching through the map or getting stuck and then getting murdered or the boss just disappears for no apparent reason. Or any other number of issues. And now we have a new issue of me not being able to fire the goddamn turret on the back. I don't know what else I can do. Can I take it off and put it back on again? Oh, I think that might have fixed it. Hooray! Right. Quickly now. While he's stuck. Okay, we got one clear hit there. Two clear hits. Wait, that... No, that's damage to him. That's damage to him. So that means we hit him rather than the thing. And again. The hitboxes in this game are so broken. Hey, his tail got in the way there. Let's get a little bit closer. He seems to be, like, heavily distracted. Again, we're hitting him rather than the object. Hitting him and the object. This is re- Oh my god. That was my own fault that time. That's really wonky. That's two hits and it's still kicking. And like I said, we've mostly shot him. I don't think he's going to get stuck like that again. What was that that he got stuck on? Oh, a bird. That's good to know, actually. If there's any more birds around here, we should take him over to one. Seems like he struggled to hit him. That is not where I was aiming. Game, please. Stop it. Get some help. Game, that is not, that is clearly not where I'm aiming at all, but okay. So obviously, there is the Tuma. Oh hell, I actually hit it. Earlier, I was hitting it directly in the center and still hitting the boss. It's a very nice color, isn't it? Right, anyway, easily distracted. right in the center there. 
not easy to hit. The right, the bit in the middle is what counts, guys. It's not actually. You can you can shoot the floaty stuff around it as much as you want. It makes no difference. And sometimes it makes a difference. So yeah, go figure. Flying around with the greatest of these. So yeah, I'm just gonna chip away, guys. Just chip away. You know when you're doing damage to the tumor because it's only doing, allegedly, one damage. Anything higher than one, like that 126, means you've hit him rather than the tumor. Like I said, the hitbox is really off. If you aim pretty much dead center, you can usually be fine. Ow. Now is not the time, Piggy. Piggy. Go away, Piggy. Alright, that is getting a bit far away from me now. Uh oh. So yeah, I'm gonna chip away, guys. Cut back, hopefully, in time to catch it. Still going a few minutes later. Ugh. At least that doesn't count as damage until it hits the ground. Stop moving. Oh, see, apparently that counted as hitting him rather than the tumor. Should be just out of height range, but not so far up that it doesn't count as hitting. Because if you get too far away, horizontal or vertical, and it doesn't have to be very far, you stop doing damage, and it just doesn't count. None of it counts. You get a warning that it doesn't count, but it still sucks. Like, that should have been directly on. This massive purple mass, and yet some of it still counts as the creature itself. Yep, too high vertically to damage. I'm not that high. I know it's obviously trying not to make it too easy for you to just like fly up and away. But still, at the same time, it's like, can I not play the game how I like? Am I going to be high enough to avoid that? Yes. Just high enough to avoid the attack, but not low, uh, not low enough to, uh, no. I know what I meant. It's really early in the morning. This has taken a while. High enough to avoid the attack, but not too high that I can't actually shoot myself. But again, this is going to take a while. Man, he just smacked me pretty damn hard. I'm going to have to retreat a second. Med up. Even though I was out of his hit range, still got hit because arc. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you can't you can't get too close to that guy. I mean, well, even even not close at all. He did a ground pound attack and hit me up in the air away from his fists. Wow, I just went straight up in the air because I got smacked again. Again, miles away from his fists or oh, an assumed hitbox. I got told I was too far away to do damage, but oh no, I was not too far away enough to receive damage. This game sometimes just, it boggles the mind what the de developers are doing, it really does. So I got killed, because of course I fucking did, this goddamn game and stupid bugs that they never goddamn fix, and stupid goddamn bosses that they make so ridiculously fucking stupidly hard for solo players, what is the goddamn point? Why why have a range limit on a boss when your hitboxes in the game are so poorly done? Really, it beggars belief. Right, I needed more ammo. I need to fix some ammo. I don't even know what ammo broke. I'm gonna have to go back and goddamn get it. I assume the mech's fine because I've had no pop-up that that's been magically killed by anything. Sometimes I really hate Ark. Really do. So I got killed. I was in a position where I'm not allowed to harm it, but it's allowed to harm me. And they don't think that that could somehow be a fucking problem. I mean, get real, Dev. Seriously. Too far horizontally to damage. The most beyond ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <sighs> Put that in there. 
Right. Move the accessory, pop that on as well, please. Thank you. Gonna continue to try and snipe the guy. Get to the last thing, finish this off, because I'm almost done with the entire game. There we go. Ah, too, too vertically high. <laughs> Alright, I think we're getting there. There doesn't seem to be a real way to tell how far you are off doing this. Ah, apparently hit the diner. Apparently that's also hitting the diner, shooting clearly the tumor on the side, and yes, we're out of range again. You can shoot that tumor square in the center and still get the pop-up saying that you've hit the dino rather than the the tumory bit. But we're gonna get there, I think, hopefully. A demonstration of Arx hitboxes. Check this out. That's all damage to the dino. Damage the dino. Nothing at all. Trying my best to clip the purple bullshit that we're supposed to shoot. Yeah, damage the dino somehow, magically. Absolutely fucking grade A bullshit. Look at it. Look at it. We're better off trying to shoot the fucking thing on his back. The spike. Dino damage. Dino damage, dino damage, dino damage. Dino damage. Like, I literally could not, I couldn't be any closer if I was fucking inside him, making love to him. Just all damage to the dino. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Trying to shoot it like completely square where it needs to be. Yep, stall dino damage! Yeah! In the grave! Literally, I have like a whole bunch of cheats on now to try and make life as easy as possible to point out how broken this is, and I can't even do it with cheats! So, right, the old way of trying to do this, the easy, quote unquote, easy way was to fire the fucking mech at this. You can't even fucking, you can't even fucking hit the fucking thing! This is literally the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in a video game. And I've played a bunch of games that are in early access and that never left early access. That dino, dino, dino. Dino, dino, oh well that was obvious, dino. See what else we can get. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Dino, yeah, Dino. Shoot dead in the middle. Dino. Let's just spam some shots. Don't even care now. Dino, 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 Dino. <laughs> this is awful. How is anyone defending this bullshit? Oh, hang on. Apparently, I allegedly hit it that time. I gotta shoot it downwardly from above. Sometimes. Okay, apparently that's counting. It soon stopped counting though. Seems to be a sweet spot maybe? I think you have to shoot, like, more at the thing that isn't glowing. Yeah, you have to shoot the thing that's glowing and spinning like a goddamn fucking target isn't even the thing you're supposed to be shooting. It's supposed to be that bit there with the spikes on. What the fuck is the point in that? That I really can't... Is that all it's been after all these hours? Is that stupid section over there, which has nothing to do with the spinny fucking mess that looks like a giant target that you're supposed to shoot, that sometimes you can shoot, like that. What a fucking broken DLC this is. Oh, hang on. Uh, I don't think it's actually counting. Okay, I take it back. It's not, it's not even the stupid pointless fucking spike things. 
Can you move your uh, horn, please? I tried to test a theory. Like, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Oh, need to reload. My god, there was a delay then. Yeah, it's like, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. That's just absolutely broken. I'm just going to skip to the end, to be honest, guys, because I'm done. I won't be doing this ever again. Hey, look, now Axe broken even further. He's walking on something that's not here. And he can't hit me. It's now night time, and I'm still flying around this dickhead. All right, we got a hit. Now this rifle fires through walls, so perhaps we'll fare better with it. Or perhaps we'll just fucking hit thin air. All right, guys, sit rep. Just to try and make things a little bit more clearer to you guys. I've destroyed that second node, right? It's a shame I can't get him to like keep precisely still. But that slight gap there, that's where the tumor used to be. So even though you can shoot something off, so even though you can shoot something off over around here, the whole thing was actually in there, which makes no sense because there was a few times where I could shoot way below that, way above that, way after this. It just doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. So yeah, just wanted to point out where allegedly the node is actually supposed to be, which it isn't because it's not fucking accurate. Well guys, I decided we should try and kind of do this legit since um, obviously I was cheating and flying around to point out an issue. At least the final node is his chest. Which may be a little bit easier! Ooh. May be a little bit easier. Ow! That hurt. Ah, uh, he says shooting the node quite clearly and uh, still hitting the dino. Well, that bird looks a bit rough. So once again, going by how the node disappeared on the other one, the big glowy node section, which looks like it should be something to shoot, is in fact nothing to shoot. Possibly. At least right now. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta shoot it more central, so... Don't worry about all the fancy pink stuff. Ow. Because it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's just there to annoy you, to look like a, a big target to shoot, but not actually be a target to shoot. Alright, let's just finish this, because I never ever want to do this boss again. Ever. And to be honest, I'm quite sick of the map, to be honest. It's been one of the most bug-ridden things they've released. Come on, give me an opening. Thank you. No, oh, right. none of that counts, of course. Oh, crap. Oof, managed to get out of that, just. That is so awkward. What an awful way to do this. I'd rather it be just a really tricky tame than this kind of crap. And that's what it is, crap. Got all this glowy shit blocking the actual target. But sometimes you can shoot the glowy shit. It makes absolutely no sense. Okay, guys, I've resorted to doing the cheat again. Just because I can't be asked anymore. I really can't. But I want to point out something yet again. As you can see, shooting there, even though that's absolutely nowhere near. Nowhere near the target we're supposed to be aiming for. That That is counting. Just to carry on proving my point. That the hitboxes in this game are just absolute garbage. 
So I can shoot over there as well. Cat cat shoots up there. I was trying to see if it was just any of the black shit counting or not. I thought it was worth a punt. Yeah, definitely not any of the black shit. So I just wanted to check. Check and see if it made a difference. <laughs> right, let's just let him have it. Brain of mine had been dead from like one or two of these hits, so uh, you can't use this as a viable option to defeat him in the game. I think solo taming him, at least at this level, is basically impossible. Not without some sneaky bullshit. Or glitches where he starts attacking nothing, I guess. I just want to be done. Tame him and go have a nap. <laughs> So, sorry the video is not more positive, guys. I say I do enjoy the game usually. I can put up with a few of its bugs. I mean, we're used to it now. A lot of us that play this a lot have got several thousand hours in the game. But this is just the worst goddamn DLC. Still not dead. Ugh, this is tedious. Oh, finally, it's done. And it's landed on my head. I'm bugged out. But I think we're good. There we go. It's tamed. There we go. And we've given him a name. So here he is. Worst DLC ever. And he's automatically gained this massive saddle. And presumably a mind control section at the front there. Affecting his brain. Right at the front there is a cockpit, which is where you are. But yeah, he automatically gets a platform saddle out of nowhere because when the game's this broken, why bother with any other logic, I guess? So yeah, that was worth the effort, I think. Probably not, because I'm going to immediately kill him. All right, guys, let me show you how this guy works. You can just walk, walk over everyone, just stomp everyone to death. And of course, you've got the left click for a big smack into the ground, which should be an AOE, so I don't know why. No, apparently the... Uh... There we go. So while it is an AOE, it does have to be reasonably on target, apparently. We'll try it again with the deer. No, that works. Seems to be affected by the angle you do it at. Anyway, the other move is a targeted right click to throw a block of ice. There it goes. Target is damaged and frozen. So now we can go over there and give him the old bit of fisting, I guess. Fist him. I guess... There we go, that's better. I don't know whether that's context sensitive or not when you're turning, but yeah. And the other ability is Ice Breath with C. And as you can see, does a lot of damage. And we murdered something. And yeah, that's about it. You get a platform and you can build on it. Isn't that great? Isn't that worth the effort that we put into it? And just so you can see the stats at this kind of tame. Nearly half a million HP. 7,000 stamina. Plenty of carry weight. And you get this guy for about four days before I assume they just despawn or die or starve. Whatever it is. After, five, after four days, that's it. Not worth the effort, if you ask me. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like. I'd really appreciate that, especially after all the fucking effort I've put in for the past five and a half hours now. 
five and a half hours because of this broken, absolute bag of... Thank you.